Hey guys, welcome back to another drone buzz video. In this video, I want to show you something that uh, I thought was pretty neat and I never actually uh, thought about it before, but uh, I did get a flight controller that has a Wi-Fi built into it. And I didn't think it would be a big deal, but uh, it turns out I really like it. So I use a T-Motor F7 Pro flight controller because it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And the reason I decided to do that, it's because I run iNav on my uh, seven inch quad. And usually when you use iNav and you plug in your quad, you actually don't get to see uh, if you have any GPS lock yet or anything like that because iNav needs to have a GPS lock before you can arm. Even though you may be flying in acro, it still requires that you have GPS lock before you arm. So I used to have to wait or I used to use a long um, connector to run to the quad and see how many uh, GPS, like what was the status of the GPS. Uh, there's a way to bypass it the GPS thing, but uh, I don't want to bypass it. I just want to know how many, if I'm ready to fly or not. So with that, uh, with that controller, it works with an app called the uh, SpeedyB app. It's really neat. It literally is a um, Betaflight or iNav controller into your app. It actually does both. So you can, if you have iNav or Betaflight on that flight controller, it actually is going to read both of them. So here's my quad. And what I'm going to plug it in, and then I'll show you with the app what happens for all this. So let's plug that in. Perfect. Now we're going to launch the app. And then uh, what you can do with the app is as soon as you go to, to want to use it, it'll ask you to, it'll open up the network to ask you to pick the network you want to be on. So I'm going to say Bluetooth. Uh, and then uh, it picked it up right away, right here. So you go connect. And then it takes a little bit. And then once it's connected, you can see the data of the drone. So right now, if I tilt my drone, you can see it tilts on the uh, on the app tells you how it is set up uh, so as you can see this is the iNav look it's got the logos in blue with a kind of a blue highlight if you are using better flight it would have the uh, that orangish look to it and uh, as you can see right there on the top it shows me all of my sensors all the way to the flow sonar GPS and everything tells you right now it says navigation not safe because I'm not connected to a um, to my remote control here. But if you go down to the GPS, it tells you where that. So right now it says, uh, we're going GPS. It tells me sat zero satellites. So we're inside. That's why we're not going to get any satellites. But, oh, it'll take a while. But the good news is that now I can see how many satellites I got. And I can wait until I got the, I think six is where it's set, where I can't arm until I have six satellites locked on. And then once I got six locked on, well, I can take off and, uh, and go do my flight. So it has everything. With this app, you can even adjust your PEDs and everything. You can look at your black box data. You can look at a lot of data. A lot of the stuff I recommend you do when you're not flying because you don't want to be messing with things because sometimes whenever you adjust something, it'll reboot the flight controller. So I don't think you can do adjustments when it's flying, but I didn't try it either because I'm not that brave. And so, yeah, so this is a very... So right now on a little screen here, you can see that it's showing uh, it's actually, oh, we got four, four satellites. So now we're gonna see, it should show on the map when it's black. Maybe it's a good thing so you don't get to see where I live, but, um, so yeah, so we can go into the configuration. You can do into calibration, like you can calibrate anything you want, which is very neat. Uh, if you wanna calibrate things without having to put a, um, to use a stick, because you can do compass calibration with a stick. I think it's throw up to the max and then to the right and then, um, the second stick to the all the way down and it triggers a compass calibration uh, very needed if you do use iNav and then after that you can you can choose anything you can set up your motors and everything uh, which one is this one your outputs so you can see what D shots I'm using on this uh, you can also do this one it tells you what's plugged into what for your ports uh, for the configuration that's where I will use the uh, this one. So this one should show all your sticks, inputs and everything, or maybe it's the next one. So uh, you also have your fail safe, how you want it set up. Right now mine is re says return home, uh, signal loss, and then it says five. So uh, one equals point 0.1 seconds. So point half a second of uh, signal loss and then it'll trigger return home. It tells you throttle value, tell you the delay and everything. It's really neat. You have your PEDs, you can do your PED tuning on there. I love it. Although I don't do it through the app, I do it through the computer. And then uh, you also have your um, um, 
receiver. So right now it's not connected, if we're connected, you can move them and they'll read it live. You have all your modes on there, so it's very convenient. Your GPS, it's working. Uh, that's another GPS. And so yeah, so that's more app things. Oh, on-screen display, cool. I didn't know you could do that there. So learn something new, although it's not showing exactly what the drone is looking at. It says exit full screen. And then, um, which one is this? LED strip and then CLI. Wow, so you have access to your CLI and you can put in different codes and commands in there if you wanted to. So yeah, it's very convenient. And then I thought I'd share it because I really, really enjoyed it. It saved me a lot of time in figuring out why things are not working. So you see, it rebooted right now because I was in the CLI and then so you have to reboot to go back to the configurator. So yeah, I hope you find this video instructive and then if you have any comments, put them below and then I'll answer them right away. So we'll see you guys in the next video.